Hey everyone, welcome to Lightroom in a Snap. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make refined selections within color masks. The method I showed in last week's episode is great for picking a very specific point of color, but doesn't work if you have variations of a color or multiple colors you need to include in a mask. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are available in both desktop versions of Lightroom, the cloud-based Lightroom app and Lightroom Classic. As always, if you find this content helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any new videos as they're released. Now let's hop on into Lightroom Classic. In this first example from Southern Utah, let's assume I want to make some adjustments to the sky. I can obviously generate a sky mask, but in this case it's not perfect. It's pulling in some of the rock face for some reason and completely misses this little patch of sky within the smaller arch. Instead of using this sky mask, let's try to use a color mask instead, since the sky is a nice brilliant blue that contrasts well against the rest of the image. But now we run into a new problem. The sky is a subtle gradient of blue, so using a single point isn't creating a clean mask. Even if I try to improve the blue mask with the refine slider, I start pulling in some of the arch again. Fortunately, there are a couple other tricks we can use. The first thing I can try is selecting multiple points in the sky. To do so, simply hold down the shift key and click to create a mask based on those multiple samples. You can select up to five points. That worked pretty well, but there is still some very faint splotchiness in the selection. Instead of relying on a combination of single selection points, the next thing we can try is to use the selection zone. To do so, simply click and drag to draw a box, being careful not to include any colors you don't want in the mask. Unfortunately, that still hasn't created the perfect mask I'm looking for. But wait, there's more! Just like before, if you hold down the shift key, you can create multiple zones as well. Now, this time I have pulled in a couple of the shadowed areas in the arch, but a small tweak to the color range refine slider easily takes care of that. Let's take a quick look at another example to show how these tools can be used for selections that consist of multiple colors. Here we have a simple set of color bars. Obviously, I could create a color mask based on just one of these colors. Using the shift plus click trick, I can also create a selection that's made up of multiple colors that I choose. Using the refine slider, I can control how much of the selection blends with the other colors. Lastly, using the same click and drag method, I can choose an area of colors that are near each other. These tools are a great way to create far more precise color masks than what's possible by using just a single point selection. As shown in that first example, even if you just need one color, you may run into scenarios where a simple selection may not suffice. One more quick note. If you enjoy these tutorials and find them helpful, I would be really grateful if you took advantage of the new thanks feature here in YouTube to show your appreciation. Your support will help ensure I can continue to create valuable content like this going forward. And that's Lightroom in a snap.